Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Some very exciting news today as Sky Sports are reporting that Newcastle could well be very close to making their first signing of the summer. Reporting that Matty Target is in fact having his medical at the training ground today ahead of a £12 million move from Aston Villa to Newcastle United. So obviously we have seen Matty Target in action, he was on loan to Newcastle from Aston Villa from January through till the end of the season, and for me, was quality. Cracking player, uh, really really did himself proud this season for Newcastle, obviously players like Bruno took a lot of the plaudits because of how good he was coming in, but Matty Target, Premier League proven, slotted in and just did a great job, to be honest, that's the way I could put it. Defensively, he was good. Positionally, he was very good. You look at players like Richie Lewis, who have had a lot of trouble with, positional-wise. Target walked in, solved. That problem was solved. And even going forward, I thought he was good. If you think back to the Brentford game, I think it was, when they got that player sent off, and him and Fraser just totally tore them a new one down that left-hand side, like... Seriously, great performances from him this season. And I thought it was a given that we would just sign him, to be honest. The fee being spoken about by Sky Sports today is around 12 million. I thought it was a little bit higher than that. I thought it was more like 15 million, but still 12, 15 million. It's a good price for a player who I think has had a really good season. But again, uh, the season ended. We saw him on... Um, an interview at the end of the last game, last home game against Arsenal, saying how he wants to stay here. Everybody knows I want to stay here. Bruno's jumping in the interview saying that he has to stay. He's hugging the owners and Amanda. So it literally looks like it's nailed on. He's, he's going to stay, surely. And then things go a little bit quiet. Rumours start to surface that maybe he doesn't want to stay in Newcastle after all. Maybe he wants to move further south to be closer to family. His missus posts that Instagram which says short and sweet uh, about her time in Newcastle which she then deletes. Uh, he's then linked with teams like Fulham. Newcastle are then being linked with other left backs. And I'm thinking maybe this isn't going to happen after all. But at the same time still thinking... This hugely contradicts everything he'd already said for himself in his own interviews where he said that he basically wants to stay here. Why would that have all changed so quickly overnight? And for all of the reasons I mentioned at the start of this video, I am very happy to see that Sky Sports are now reporting that Target is in for his medical at Newcastle today ahead of a permanent transfer. Now again, none of this is official. This is Sky Sports coming out and saying this, but... I hope it's true, to be honest. I think Target would be a great signing. And we can get on to talking about other left-backs that we have been linked with. But at the end of the day, £12 million for a player who has, you know, been above and beyond what we needed this second half of the season can clearly do a great job in the Premier League. At the very least, he deserves to stay. Whether we go out and try and buy another left-back to potentially compete with or interchange with target that's a different story but considering our first choice left back right now is who was it <laughs> uh dub it on his one year deal uh richie who and lewis who didn't even get in the squad like we don't actually have a left back so there is absolutely no reason you would pay you would probably pay 12 million for a squad player left back so to be bringing in Target as a first team player for the same price, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, which again is why we can get onto the fact that Newcastle are also being linked with other players. Obviously, um, Renan Lodi is a player that has been spoken about a lot. Left back from Atletico Madrid. And there's also reports coming out uh, that one of Dan Ashworth's first jobs is to look at more attacking style left backs in this transfer window. So are we bringing in Target as the safe, steady, defensive left-back, but still are open to the prospect of maybe a slightly more attacking left-back? You know, are we at the point now where we have 
uh, a defensive side and an attacking side, depending on who we play. I think Target could do the job all season, to be honest, but it never hurts to have backups. And as I say again, um, if Richie and Lewis aren't going to be involved next season, maybe we need another left back. So for me, I hope this report is true and that Target is indeed having his medical. Could well be our first announced signing of the summer. Uh, it opens on Friday. So Friday, 5 o'clock, anyone? Maybe? Or over the weekend? We'll have to wait and see. It makes sense. It, it, it totally makes sense and I, and I hope it's true. I also wonder... Maybe I'm getting cynical now. I also wonder whether we had a deadline on when we had to have Target signed and sealed from Aston Villa. Maybe we've gone out and looked at other left-back options, haven't had the success we wanted, and have gone, you know what, let's just get this Target done and dusted because that means we 100% will have a left-back for the start of next season. As opposed to letting the Target offer run out him maybe going somewhere else, Fulham, or maybe Aston Villa turn around and go, well, you've missed a deadline. We want 25 million now. Um, so we've kind of gone, okay, let's just get it done quick now. Who knows? I've also seen, because I follow Target and his missus on Instagram, that they uh, were heading home from their last day on holiday yesterday. So did they finish their holiday and head straight to Newcastle for their medical? That makes sense too, possibly. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, drop a like, subscribe. If you want to know a little bit more about Renan Lodi, the more attacking left-back that I mentioned earlier. I did a full video going through who he is, what he can bring to Newcastle. Let me know your thoughts on Target down below. Be sure to like and subscribe so you do not miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.